Hi guys, it's your girl Bianca coming to you from the Beatrice brand. <laughs> and I am coming to you with another tutorial on this look right here. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy the content. If you want to see how I created this look here, just stay tuned guys. Come on, please me, baby. Turn around and just tease me. And with our Coastal Sense eyeshadow uh, blending brush, they don't really have names. It just says like buffing brush, blending brush, things of that nature. So it's the one with the white hairs. Um, and I'm just going to go in with that. And I'm going into the P. Louise Secret Center palette. And I'm going to grab that purple shade called Addicted. And I'm just going to tap this right in my outer V as well as in my crease. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. Next, I'm gonna go in with my MAC 221 brush and I'm going back into that Secret Center palette and I'm gonna mix the two pink shades, um, Idolize and Infatuation. I'm gonna start by slowly packing those pinks just right above the purple here. Now that we have that pink placed down, we're gonna go right back into the purple. And now we're gonna go ahead and just blend that purple up into the pink so that again it's just building this color one we're building the color up but two we're also just trying to get the gradient effect so we want that purple to really stand out and really be dark but we also want it to just mesh well with that pink so it's just a matter of taking your time and going back and forth between the pinks and the purple. The purple doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover that up anyways, but you definitely want to make sure that there are no harsh lines, guys. Next, I'm going in with my Duo Lash Glue, and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. So I'm going to take another Coastal Sense. This is just one of their flat eyeshadow brushes, or I think it's called like an extra small eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to go ahead and start packing this all over my eyelid. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. Okay, and now that we have that mix on our eyes, I'm now going to go in with my NYX. This is the Dramatic Sparkle, uh, the Liquid Crystal Body Liner. So I'm just going to go in, and it's just this really, really pretty gold shade. And I'm just going to mix this in with the colors that we already have down. I'm using this as an adhesive for the chunky glitter that I'm getting ready to put down. So I figured why not add a little bit more sparkle. So now I'm going in with Lash by Dollface. I'm going in with her chunky glitter and this is in the shade, it's a vibe. And I'm just gonna pack that on top of our mix here. So you really want to be careful with chunky glitter, guys, because chunky glitter doesn't belong on the eye. Um, I can tell you that right now for a fact. 
but we love it. Um, but you really have to be careful when you're playing with glitter. Make sure that it's a cosmetic glitter because if it's not, it can get inside your eye. It can cut your eyes. You can potentially go blind, all that good stuff. So just be careful when you're buying glitters. Don't go to the arts and craft store trying to get craft glitter. Make sure that it is cosmetic glitter that is finely uh, milled or grind so that way it's safe for the eyes, okay? So in my last video, I did um, add a wing liner just to the end, but I'm not gonna actually do that this go around because I just don't feel like I really need it. And it was just on the ends anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my lashes off and then I'll be right back. Okay, girls, now that I got my lashes on, I am going to get into this skin, honey. So I did go ahead and prime and moisturize off camera. I moisturize with the Pond. Um, this is the Pond Dry Skin Face Cream. And then I did go ahead and prime with my uh, Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. So yeah, and I only put a little bit on my nose. Um, I really want to give this this Juvia's Place because this is supposed to be um, the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. So because it's velvety matte, um, sorry guys, I feel like something was pulling. Because it's velvety matte, I don't want to use too, too, too much matte product. So I'm going to go in again with this much here. And they say little goes a long way. So I'm gonna really see how true that is with a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna go in with one of my flat brushes and then I'll buff it out with her brush because again, I don't know if it was the way I was buffing it out or what, you know, you just gotta sometimes play around with product. So I am going to give this another whirl and yeah. Um. I do know that they say that it's full coverage, so um, they definitely wasn't lying about that. I can definitely tell that it is full coverage just by putting it on. And Malawi is the golden, it's in the golden family. Um, I tried Legos or Labos and it was just way, I don't know if that was the right name for it, so don't quote me, but it was just a little too light for me, and then Gabon was a little too red for me, and I am one of those girls. I want my skin golden. I like to, to look golden. Um, I feel like I have more of a golden, a neutral golden undertone to my skin, so I definitely wanted something that was going to complement that and bring it out. So now I'm gonna go in with the um, brush that came out with her collection and I'm just gonna pat it into my skin like I do uh, with any other brush. So, so far I do like how the um, concealer applies on top of the foundation the concealer is not as heavy as the foundation so it is like um it's a little bit more watery than the foundation is it's not as creamy which is fine that's perfectly fine um so yeah i mean it's blending out like a dream to me and i have no complaints so far So if any of you guys have tried out this foundation and concealer or any products out of the collection, comment down below and let me know how you like it. Um, so far, I don't really have a problem with it, you know. Um, so now I'm going to go in with shade 7. And I feel like I could have went a shade deeper, especially because it's the summertime and I know that I'm going to get, you know, a little bit more tanned. So I do feel I could have went a little darker with my contour shade, but 
y'all know I don't do a super dark contour anyway. Um, so it's going to be what it's going to be. I can always make it darker and I can always buy a, a darker shade as well. So. Mm. Is this what you It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. So now I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm going to blend the two shades Sculpt and Contour. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish with my Real Techniques uh, Blush Brush. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. So now I'm not going to put any black in my waterline like I normally do. I'm just going to smoke out this bottom line with a few colors that I use in my crease. Um, but I'm not going to do it too, too smoky and put that black in my waterline like I normally do. with the Juvia's Place Magic Palette. And I am gonna take this pretty purple iridescent shade here. This is in the shade Faso or Fazo. I don't, I don't ever know if I'm pronouncing these companies' uh, eyeshadows or lipstick names right, but I do the best I can with what I'm working with, you know? All right, so. We're going to go in with that Fazo color, and it's like, like I said, it's like a pretty iridescent color that we're going to pop right in the corner It's the Beatrice brand. Like, you can't beat the Beatrice brand. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. Now I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu setting spray. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. She's got magic in her hands. Have you feeling oh so fine? Looking flawless by design. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. And now I'm going in with my favorite MAC lip gloss, lipstick, and this is in the shade Fresh Brew. 
and I didn't wipe any of the foundation off of my lip because I want to give it like that nude look. Ladies, I'm going to show you a trick. If you don't ever have a lip liner, like a brown lip liner or, you know, something, if you want to make your lips a little bit darker, take some of your concealer or your foundation or a little bit of powder and use what you got to get what you want. Okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of that concealer. And I mean, I have tons of brown lip liners I just wanted to show you guys a little trick that way you're evening it out a little bit if you don't want it so light next I'm going in with my P. Louise lip gloss in the shade Hala. And I'm just going to coat that right on top. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. It's the Beatrice brand. You can't beat the Beatrice brand. All right, guys, that is the final look. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial here. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, you know, let me know what products you guys like. Let me know what looks you want to see, um, if it's products that I have or I can go out and get. If I bang with the company, I will definitely do so. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, you can hit that good old notification bell to get any updates on when I post a new video. Um, and yeah, let's build this channel. Let's build this glam family, this glam squad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.